All right, welcome back, everybody. Uh, obviously, if you've been around, you know what today is. It's Tackle Tip Tuesday. It happens to be, well, this should be for you guys on New Year's Eve. Um, I didn't know if you guys had actually watched this one today, but I couldn't miss the opportunity to do the last Tackle Tip Tuesday of 2019. Uh, so, obviously, if you you see the title and thumbnail, Today is going to be all about organizing this mess I have had for a long time. Uh, panfish plastics. Um, there's other things that I want to do for open water season, stuff like that, so stay tuned for those. But this is basically, when you have so many plastics and you're trying to stay a little bit organized, I had a problem the, uh, recently when I was out fishing and I was trying to go through my plastics and I wanted to like use specific ones that I had on had in mind. Um, but yeah, basically I kept losing them and I couldn't figure out where they were and I wasn't putting them back in the right places and stuff like that. So I came up with a good idea and I figured I'd share it with all you guys on today's Tackle Tip Tuesday. So stay tuned. <laughs> Okay guys, so like you've seen in the intro, today is all about organizing your panfish plastics. And the thing is, is some of you guys might only have like one or two things of panfish plastics. Uh, I'm a little bit obsessive with the panfish. If you're new here and you don't know this, um, a good majority of my uh, gear is geared towards targeting all the the panfish species and uh, the biggest ones of that. Um, you can go back through, I have a panfish playlist, I have a playlist for every panfish that I fish for, crappie, bluegill, perch, you know, all of the above. But, I digress, the big thing here is I have so many different plastics specifically for different scenarios and all that stuff that, well, I'll show you this. So, a long time ago, I built this thing. I made myself a little panfish binder. And I should have patented it because <laughs> I'd be a zillionaire by now because I did this. So these are Ziploc baggies, but I like I made it myself out of blaze orange tape so I couldn't lose it out on the ice. Um, I made that a long time ago, way before Clam or anybody else did it. I'm sure somebody stole my idea while I was out on the ice, you know. The normal thing the big companies love to do. Anyways, <laughs> I'll get off of that kick. But that was my first attempt at organizing my plastics, which it worked. I used it basically in the sense that um, I did it for color coordination. So I would put like all my chartreuse in one, all my black in another. And it kind of made it real easy in that sense. Um, but now I have very specific brands and very specific types of plastics since they've become so advanced. Um, and the most recent addition, uh, BY Baits, that I just got used to using um, out in the Mississippi backwaters, um, they've been doing really good. And I'm very impressed with the, the way they've uh, engineered them and put them together. And so far, they do exactly what I need plastics to do, you know. So you got to kind of think like a fish here. But getting back to the organization idea here, is they are very specific. Uh, the, the stuff that they do is buggy and... Um, like minnow shapes and stuff like that. So your profiles are actually now exact things. Like they do mayfly, mayfly larvae and boatman bug. And there's a bunch of different things that they do that are very specific. So I'm going to show you here in a second. This is what I came up with for my version of like organizing my plastics. And I think it's probably the best way to doing it. Um, you guys can comment below if you have any better ways of doing it. I'm always looking for more ways to be more organized while I'm fishing and getting out there. So let's get into it. Okay, so a lot of you guys probably have seen these before. Um, this is a Plano 3700 case. And if, you if you're new here, so anybody that's not new here, you've seen these before. But, I mean... I, I use them pretty religiously now. I have a whole method to my madness as far as storage. And these ones have become like my best friend basically because they fit in a backpack real well. There's a bunch of different videos on this uh, channel on like carrying stuff around and being, you know, backpack orientated. But back to the storage idea of this, I went ahead and put every insert in here because 
uh, when I was sitting around looking at my plastics after my last trip and I was I kind of something I do after each trip is I go through my plastics I separate all the ones that I used I kind of look at the ones that were working the best and I go through them and then I put you know I try to put them back where they came from in the right baggies so that you're organized but I'm gonna show you this and you guys are gonna either think I'm too organized or you're gonna go buy a Plano box tomorrow. <laughs> um, not sponsored by Plano or anything, but I'm gonna show you how I did this and how I plan on doing more future stuff like this. Cause like I said, I just came up with this and I figured it was too good not to share with you guys. Okay, so you can see, I put every divider in here that this comes with and you can see how my plastics are now organized very specifically. Now, so some of these are, I believe, I think these are all Ice Junkies plastics that I've had over the years, and I still have. Uh, I kind of consolidated them down into like single baggies or double baggies that fit in here. Uh, I think this is the old Lake Hoppins vates. I don't know if he's still in business, but these are Lake Hoppin Ice Junkies outdoors. And then these are the newest edition um, these are something that I've been looking forward to using for a very long time now because I'm a big bluegill nut and you need to have very lifelike things. So these are made by BY, BY Baits and uh, like I said, uh, as far as specifics go, so now these ones actually have names like the Mega Mud Bug and Mud Bug. So you have like the little one next to the big one. Uh, what is that? The Water Bug. Um, bloodworm, boltman bug. These guys look like those little water bugs that float around. Um, freshwater shrimp, mosquito larvae, and mayfly. Both of these were doing really good along with, I believe, the mud bug on the Mississippi backwaters. But this isn't about these. I'm, I'm going to do a review on these uh, after I get a little bit more use with them. If you guys have been around, you know I like to use everything before I actually tell you guys whether it's good or not. I mean, I could have got lucky or whatever. But needless to say, the organization aspect of this is... Now, these guys are... Obviously, you see different colors in there, so that's one bag. But they're all mayfly. These ones are the mosquito larvae. Um, and you can see, like, yeah, there's different colors but they're the same bait if that makes sense to you guys so like these are all blood worms these are all mud bugs but yes they're two different colors and they're in the same bag hopefully the colors don't bleed i don't know if they are um these are kind of crammed in there too so the idea here is what i'm probably going to do is get another one of these and what i'll do is i will separate these guys out so i will take another little baggie so what it would be is it'd be like both of these would be mayfly so this would be a black mayfly this would be like the silver and you so on and so forth you get it so like mud or boatman bug boatman bug and then you'd have like the dark and light colors and then lighter colors so what i was looking at was the fact that you have this whole chart here or tray and that's like a grid so with it being that way you could do all of these could be boatman bugs and you could do red, green, yellow, blue, black, glow. Like, you could do that. And that way, when you're out fishing, and you pull this out of your bag, so if you're pan fishing, you just take this with you, you can go, I have a chartreuse mud bug. And then I have a black one, and I have a red one, and I have a blue Like, it makes finding them very, very easy. And... This is sealed around it, so it's waterproof. So if you drop this in the water ever, it'll float. I've done that, don't ask why. <laughs> but uh, this is sealed, so it'll keep all of your plastics fresh. Even though they're already in bags, sometimes they uh, dry out. But while they're in here, even if you're opening and closing the bags, this will keep them fresh for the most part. Okay, so I think that's as simple as we can make it. The fact is, like I said, the grid pattern is what drew me to it. So like I like I said, I use these for a lot of different storages. You guys obviously know if you've been around, uh, you know I do my own little custom modifications to everything. I have a bunch of these videos 
Uh, they're in the other Tackle Tip Tuesday videos, and I have them in my uh, product review video playlist. Uh, that's a bunch of other good videos. You guys need to go check those out if you're new here, because uh, there's a lot of things that I've put out there to try and help you guys, uh, other than just Tackle Tip Tuesday. But speaking of Tackle Tip Tuesday, so this is just one thing, but I wanted to show you guys, since this is the end of the season, um, I'm probably... It's hard to tell. I might do more Tackle Tip Tuesdays next year, but it's not going to be every Tuesday. Um, it's, I'm probably going to try and reserve Tackle Tip Tuesdays for things that I think that you guys could really use. Or, like I say in all my other videos, I want you guys to comment on videos if you think there's something about it that I could describe better to you. Or maybe if you want me to break it down like I'm doing here. Uh, but, merch. DW Sells Outdoors merch. Tackle Tip Tuesday, TTT. That's what I'm wearing right here. So you got that. And then TTT on the back. Um, there's a lot of options. The link will always be in the description for merch. And then I will try to always link, like, while well, I'm on this subject of it. If I'm using something, which when you have a lot of different things, so this is just another organizational thing that I, uh, talked about on a different video so if you guys go through my videos you can find that but i will link everything in the description at all times if you guys want to help support the channel and get more more of these videos put together i like to get out and film i'd like to do more of these tackle tips on the ice or on the open water or in the field depending on where i'm at at the time but to get out there i need you guys uh to help support this channel pick up some merch share it with friends uh do your part, and I'm going to try and do mine. Uh, been at this for a while now, and I think I think this is the thing. I think this is what I'm doing here. So <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Go back through the playlist. If you like any videos, share them with people if you think they'll help. Uh, that's my goal here is help people out and entertain you guys. Otherwise, I hope you guys learned something today. I hope I helped some of you guys get a little bit more organized. Even if you just get the one box and put plastics and stuff in there and you put your jigs in there, you can take that one box with you out on the ice, ultimate light, light travel you know, carry setup, and you guys will be set for your ice season. And uh, you can go smash some fish too, like I do. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Obviously, if you're not new here, you know what's up. But if you are new, would you please just remember to... Boop.